Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be doing another hair tools video. I was actually on Amazon and like you know how it comes on recommended products and I seen this. So this is by the brand UKLISS Euclis. I'm not exactly sure how that's pronounced but this looks just like a dupe for the Dyson or like the Shark Airflow. I recently did a review on the Shark Airflow and that was like the first time I had ever used a product like that and that retails for $300 and this retails for $200 so it's $100 cheaper so I was like we got to get it and we got to try it out so I do want to go ahead and say that this actually comes in this really nice box which I like that was one of the issues I didn't like about the shark flex style you could put this back in here and put this in your bathroom or wherever so like I said this does retail for $199 but it actually has a $10 off coupon this comes in black and then this comes in a white and gold shade again I'll link them down below if you guys do want to check them out but yeah I'm super excited. I have not tried this out, so like always, this is just like, you know, trial and error, trying out for the first time. I feel like trying out hair tools for the first time, like doing like a first impression, I think kind of gives you a better, I guess, like indication of, you know, saying how the product works. But it does tell you everything you get on here. I will say you do get like a few more um, options here. I know like with the Shark Flex style, you can like pick the kits. I think like one of the kits comes with like the diffuser and a few different things, but this one actually comes with uh, the diffuse nozzle, a concentration nozzle, the right curling barrel and the left curling barrel, um, a round comb, a straightening comb, and then of course like the drying head. Now I will say this one um, does also come with a glove, which kind of worries me. This one doesn't say too much about like, I was like reading in the description because this does not come with any sort of booklet. It just comes with like this, which kind of just tells you how to operate it and what everything means. But I did look like on Amazon right now because I wanted to just give you guys all the information, like I said, that I can on this product. So basically it says that this is supposed to have like strong airflow. Um, it's supposed to be better for your hair. The same thing the other, that both the Dyson and the Shark Airflow claim. I don't know if we'll need this, but what I'll do is this just looks like a regular old soft glove. I think we'll be fine. I'm not going to use it. But here we go in case you guys want to see a little bit of an overview. Really, really nice. The first two things are the curlers. I will say, just like with the Airflow, these just feel incredibly cheap for the price that they charge for these machines so I don't know I guess it's the airflow technology you're really paying for but they look identical they both have left and right written on the top which I personally do like because I wouldn't know by just looking at these which curler was which so I'm just going to set these over here ignore my squeaky chair again and then this is like the main system here so it's not very heavy I will say it's pretty lightweight you actually get like little you guys can see jewels right here and right here across the top of it so this is not like the flex style where it kind of like you can twist it and it goes you guys know you guys don't know what I'm talking about you've seen that but um you do have the unlock and lock button here so you just press down I believe to unlock this yep and it pulls right out so very similar to the I feel like you know sharp flex style in that sense so again it says that this is supposed to be for like your hair health. It avoids color loss if you're someone who dyes your hair. It protects your scalp. It's anti-frizz. And um, it says it actively offsets static electricity and it increases luster. Um, it says it's a multifunction travel hair dryer set. It includes seven styling accessories that can make the hair curl, smooth, dry, straighten, and wavy. Again, I, I would never travel with something like this, just like I said with the Shark Flex style, but... It says it has 110,000 RPM high speed brushless and fast drying. Ceramic coating and ion technology will not cause friction, tripping, and breaking. With the efficient heating system, you can quickly heat your hair to reduce styling time. So it says it has a 360 degree rotating cord, which I like. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. I do wanna say it does have three temperatures, three wind speeds, it says a nine modes. So the wind speed, green is for low speed, blue is for middle speed, and red is for high speed. And then low cool wind plus low speed, they're saying is for dry, fine hair to use in the summer. And then the cool wind and medium speed is for semi-dry hair, normal hair to use in the summer. Also, if you guys hear my neighbor's dog barking, I'm sorry, but since they moved in, that's all that dog does is bark. So I do apologize. <laughs> Hopefully you won't be able to hear it. 
Um, so yeah, this is just kind of telling you, I will say all this information though is only on Amazon. Like I, they did not put any sort of thing in here. Like I said, I looked through the entire box. So if that's something that you feel like you need, you might want to screenshot the instructions. But, um, so yeah, like I said, this does have three different speeds right here. You've got your on button and then three wind speeds and then three heat settings. I know with the shark flex style, it would tell you to use the heat for 30 seconds and then cool shot it for 10 seconds if I remember right. Um, but again, I know that kind of depends on your hair. So that's kind of how I'm going to use this because there's not really much information on here. There is a lot about like how to use these, but as far as the curls, it's saying 10 to 30 seconds and then you just loosen the curl and iron. So I do want to go ahead and just share with you guys what all comes with here. You've seen the curlers. You of course get the diffuser right here, which of course should just attach to the hair dryer. Yep, it just screws right on, which I won't be using this one today. And then you actually get this as well, which I use this on my regular hair dryer when I, and then a like round brush, and that's kind of how I do more of like the blowout style. Okay, wait a minute. Oops, do these just pop in or do these? Sorry, we're on the struggle bus right here. There we go, so yeah. And then you get the straightening brush, which this will actually go once you take this off. And then um, it just looks like this. Very similar, I feel like, to that one in the shark set. I do wanna say these are a little bit shorter than the ones that come with the shark one. So just something to kind of keep in mind. And then you get more of like a round brush like this, which is kind of like if I ever do my veins, I'll kind of like blow and go like this. All right, so let's go ahead and try this out. Like I said, we're gonna go ahead and try the drying part. So let me hook all of this up and I'll be right back. All right, so something I do wanna point out, which might not be a huge deal if you're not filming, but um, the cord is not as long as the cord that comes with the shark. So just something to kind of keep in mind. So this will be loud for just a second. I know you're not supposed to cover like the air intake right here, which is kind of different to get used to. It's the same issue that I had like with the shark one is you just, once you get used to it though, it is no big deal, but we're gonna turn it on just so we can kind of see how loud and noisy this is. So do I hold it to turn it on? All right, so I got it. I just had to push whatever that little button is, you know, that's on the thing that goes in the wall. I don't know, but here we go. Just so you guys can kind of get a little bit of an indication of how loud it is. Okay, so um, I just want to show you guys it is loud, just like all of them are, but that first heat setting um, heated up really quick, and then it did drop down the temperature really, really quick. When I went down to the cool one, it's just like cool air, and then you guys heard the fan as it dropped down. So what I'll do is I'll put a vo voice over this so you don't have to listen to this constant blowing, and we'll just see how it does drying my hair. I'm probably going to use the second setting because I feel like the third setting is a little bit too hot for the heat, so let's go. I know you told your friend you're not okay And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way And guess you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away, yeah, 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 yeah. As you fade away Yeah, I'm about to fade away, cause every time I- Alright, so my hair is probably about 80% dry. Um, it's still not completely dry, cause I do want to try this. I will say it doesn't mention anywhere in here about needing to use this on, like, like how far you need to dry your hair before you use the curlers. It's showing all of them using it on dry hair. I do want to say that I felt like I did have to up this up to the highest heat setting. And by doing that, I feel like my hair did start to dry a little bit quicker. I feel like that medium setting is just kind of like, oh, I know you guys can't see this, but we're smoking. This thing's, is that picking that up at all? I'm kind of nervous now because this is smoking. Let me see if I can take this dryer part off. It's not hot. Oh, shoot. 
Maybe it's just like it's burning the plastic that this is made out of. I'm kind of nervous. Should I keep using this? We're just going to keep going. But I'd be lying if I said I'm not extremely nervous. All right, so we're going to switch to this now. I'm just going to do the unlock. Put it in there. Twist it, maybe? Yep, oh, that's it. Okay. So, I'm just going to try to... This is, again, kind of be difficult because I can't really pull this to go like this very far. But uh, let's go ahead and give this a try. Wake up, I feel like it's Monday. Something's going wrong with all the chemicals up in my brain. All of a sudden, I don't look at anything the same way. Gotta build up of my thoughts sitting in an ashtray. I'm sorry that I'm so inconvenient, okay? Just let me be me and I'll stay out of your way. I can see the way you look at me, I'm such a disgrace. I never really asked to be brought into this place. You wanna love me? Well then, baby, have a taste. All the highs and the lows, no, you'll never be the same. I don't really wanna you but I can't control the pain If you're sticking by my side Maybe we could be okay Okay, okay Maybe you could be the change I need today I promise that I'm never fell this way I really hope that you Will choose to stay Through all the pain Alright, so I do want to say It takes a little bit of use Where the power buttons and stuff are As you guys seen that I will say I really struggle on this side Because I cannot stretch the cord anymore But uh, kind of when I was going And I did have this on the highest heat setting again but kind of like when you grab and you're kind of going like this, I feel like, I don't know, I just feel like the quality of this specific like bristles and brush, I just did not like very well. I mean, I think this did, did an okay job, but I think you could get the same effect as you could just using a regular hair dryer and a regular round brush and it might be a little bit easier. Um, it does pull out a lot of hair. I'm trying to pull out what I got here just to kind of show you guys if of course you can't see because the hairs are so light, but it does pull out a lot of hair. So just something to kind of keep in mind. Um, that was okay. Uh, I think that, like I said, my hair feels really nice. It feels really soft. I don't think it did too much for this frizz, as I know you guys can see here in the video, like the shark one did, but I have not used that brush. So I am going to try this straightening brush with it. I'm just going to unlock it. I will say this is extremely loud just like the shark one was okay hold on and these are also a little bit hard to get out okay all right now we're gonna go ahead and I don't smell the burning anymore so I'm thinking it was just maybe like first use with the hair dryer part okay wait a minute let me uh, put that in here all right, so this one's what I'm most excited about. It's kind of like the straightening one. I'm going to put this down on the second temperature, but leave the airflow because the airflow on like the first and second setting, I feel like just does not do enough. So let's try this out. I know you told your friend you're not okay. And tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Cause you're trying to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to grey As you fade away Alright, so I do want to say I am struggling a little bit more to use this one Definitely than I did with the shark one And again, I kind of feel like with this just a little bit more tugging on my hair than I would honestly like. I think it did a pretty good job, but it does not look as smooth and as frizz-free as the shark one does. Um, I mean, it still does its job. And, I mean, like I said, it's fine. I could go out like this. Like, I don't, you know what I'm saying? Like, doesn't bother me whatsoever. But, like I said, I'm just looking for in the viewfinder, trying to just make sure that you guys can kind of see. But, I mean... It, it works. Like I said, it definitely works. I will say, like I said, it's very easy to turn on and off by accident, which I think is just kind of getting used to the handles and stuff. So this one done pretty good. I will say I kind of got that smell of like burning again when I was using this one. I'm thinking it's got to do like with this plastic part. And I only had that on the second hottest heat setting that time to try it out. And it's definitely hot. So, but it doesn't look like it's burning. It just was hot. Alright, so now the part that I think everyone's waiting for. I'm probably just going to film this left side because I cannot get this over. So I'm going to have to kind of scoot out from the filming. But I'll try to get it in there. Um, just unlock it again. Um, 
All right, so um, I have watched a few videos here about like how they're doing the curling. I see a lot of people kind of like holding it like in front of their face and then letting it catch it. So I'm just going to kind of hold it here. That's kind of like what I did with the shark one. I think that worked best. I think it's going to kind of be like one of those things where you maneuver to kind of what's best with you with like holding your hands. So I'm going to put it back on the highest heat setting when I turn it on and keep the, va the fan and we'll kind of see how that sucks it in there. So as you fade away As you fade away because it's so hot so this is what it looks like after this is I struggled I went back and tried to touch up this side some this of course is a side when I'm just done um, as you can probably see the curls yeah here it's like the more at the bottom like the first layer I did they're starting to fall but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna because I definitely wouldn't go out with it looking like this I'm gonna kind of run my fingers through it like I usually do, do put a little bit of like texturizing spray into it some hairspray and then we'll kind of see where we're at. All right, guys, um, I'm back. I literally just threw some like stronghold hairspray in my hair. Um, and I gotta be honest, I really don't like how my hair looks. I feel like it looks like I've just kind of been out in a windstorm all day and it's just kind of blew my hair. I really struggled with this a lot more than I struggled with the shark one, getting it to kind of grab. Like with the shark one, I feel like I got it after a little while. This one I continue to struggle and also you can't cover the air vent like per usual. So I was up here so I was constantly hitting this on and off. I know I complained about the placement of like the shark buttons but now they make sense to me after using this one. Um, so I definitely get that. This also does not have a cool shot so you I was having to go down to like the coolest setting to see if that would kind of help hold these curls because I was continuously having to go and touch up and you know you have to switch back. I also feel like maybe I should have used these on opposite sides because it curled all the curls into my face on both sides, which I don't, I mean, you can see, which I don't like. Um, so I kind of feel like maybe I should have used it the other way. Um, it just, I don't know, like for $200, this is just a no for me. I get the concept is very similar to the Dyson and the Shark. And I think maybe if you're someone who has more time to figure this out and stuff, I think that that's great. But if you've already got one or the other, you definitely do not need this. Um, I will say, I did feel that, get that burning sensation anytime I was using this on that hot heat, lot the sensation, I'm sorry, but like the smell, I'm probably like where it's new, but definitely kind of be aware of that. Just like the shark one though, anytime I would get close to my scalp, I was having to go like this and like hold my hand because it does burn. But I had to use it on that highest heat setting or it's like my curls would not hold. Something else that I found with this one is I feel like the curls weren't as like frizz free and more, wasn't as seamless. And I felt like, no matter if I went in with smaller pieces like I normally did with the shark to get a good curl it looked really frizzy and just like crumbly so I would kind of go in with thicker pieces which I felt like looked better but they would fall quicker because it was like with a thicker piece again 
I like the concept and I think if maybe you are thinking about getting the shark or the Dyson and you try this out you see what I'm saying and like you feel like you can get this pretty quick maybe upgrade to the shark one just because I do feel like it does a better job I think that the where it has a little bit more like heat settings and the cool shot just a little bit more going on in it it makes it a little bit easier I feel like to use and a little bit I guess user friendly for someone who's never done it like I said, I'm not sitting here and saying this is like horrible, but for me, like I said, the hair dryer I felt like was just okay. It was subpar. I definitely did not feel like it had the power that the shark had, even on the highest setting. So that's something to keep in mind. This, however, did go through the heat settings like really quick. It did not take very long to do that. So that is definitely a pro for this one. Um, I definitely felt like this brush right here pulled out a lot of hair and I feel like I can achieve the same thing with a regular hair dryer and a round brush, just like a better quality round brush. And I just found that this just was not my favorite tool in there. Um, this one, as far as the straightening brush, I think did an okay job. Again, I could really smell that like kind of, I'm guessing it's like the plastic kind of burning um, with this one and I felt like this one didn't give me that like frizz free look that the shark one had like I love that shark one That's probably like one of my favorite attachments was the shark like straightening brush because I loved how like much body it gave my Hair but kept it straight and the frizz down. I really really loved it and I was hoping the same from this one Like I said, this is okay, but I don't think that this is worth $200 I would maybe pay like $100 for this, but it just I Don't know. I just feel like I just don't like it. I don't like it and I was really hoping I liked it because like I said it is like a hundred dollars cheaper and maybe like I said this is trial and error. I will try this a few more times but it's just one of those that like I said wouldn't even I feel like hold the curl for like I said long enough for me to even finish like the sections of my hair. On that one side you guys seen but when I finished with the second section the under section had completely gone flat. I mean here's what my hair looks like in case you guys it looks stiff now because like I said I had to put some hairspray to keep it but it's just um it's, it's not my favorite but yeah guys this is personally going to be a pass for me like I said I hated that I didn't like it but again this is my first impression I do actually want to try this out a few more times and if I do like it I'll mention it in like a favorites video but it might work for you but like personally it's not something that I would go out and tell like a friend or family member to purchase because I definitely feel like you know the shark one in my opinion I feel like if you're already going to spend $200 you know, maybe go ahead and spend the extra hundred to get the shark one. But if you're kind of want to try out the technology, you could definitely try this one. Like I said, I purchased it on Amazon. I'll link it down below. They have a really good return policy. So if you don't like something, but I definitely feel like I'm going to return this one. I'll probably try it again next week a few more times. But as of right now, I just cannot recommend this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If there's any other hair tools you guys would like for me to try out, please let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.